I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on combinations. At a party, each person shakes hand with every other person. If there are a total of 66 handshakes, how many people are at the party? Four choices are 10, 11, 12, 33. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let's go through this question once again. At a party, each person shakes hand with every other person. If there are a total of 66 handshakes, how many people are at the party? So let us say number of persons at the party are n. So let n be number of persons. Now when we are talking about handshakes, it is always between two persons. So it is a combination of n persons taken two together. right? So it is nc2 whose value is 66. So that is how you could make an equation and then solve for it. Now nc2 is n factorial over 2 factorial times n minus 2 factorial and that is 66 right so we could write this as uh, n factorial we could write this as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial is 2 times n minus 2 factorial so n minus 2 factorial cancels out all this is equal to 66. So we get a quadratic equation which is n times n minus 1 over 2 equals to 66. Right? So let me take this equation to the right size and then solve for it. So the equation is n times n minus 1 equals to, we'll cross multiply so we get 66 times 2. Let's open the bracket n square minus n <clears throat> bring this term to the left side 66 times 2 is 132 equals to 0 you could use quadratic formula or factor this 12 times 11 is 132 so we could factor this as n minus 12 since this is minus n times n plus 11 equals to 0 that gives you n as equals to 12 or n equals to minus 11. Now that is not valid. So the only valid answer is n equals to 2, 12. So, so the option C is the correct option. And that is how it could be solved. I hope that helps. Thanks and all the best.